In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. It is an honor and a privilege to be here. When I first asked by Jim Ryan, I was called and said, Imam, we have a new movement. Would you like to be part of it? I spend nearly 24 hours thinking about this. What is so special about this movement, which I have not been part of before, I haven't heard about it before, only to be disappointed after? As a person, as a Muslim, the values that are embedded in the mission statement and within the paper in front of you are very values that I stand for and I share. So that wasn't the issue which really encouraged and motivated me. Because to be honest and frank, I have been part of many organizations that on paper, uh, we have had quite a lot of shared values. But in practice, the backbone has not been there to stand up to defend each other. Uh, as an imam who works with my colleagues and others within the Muslim community, I was encouraged to see one thing which made this slightly different from the other organizations or movement that I have been part of. That is what Terry said right in the beginning of her presentation. I have always questioned myself. I remember in 2004 election, the Democratic candidate uh, through their agents here contacted me that we would like to get a number of imams to come together and be the advisors to the candidate. And I immediately asked, okay, let us assume that I join the organization, part of your group, what is my role? Exactly that, where to put the Ten Commandments. Uh, you stay outside the conference rooms, offer the prayer for the success of the wise individuals who are going to go in. Nothing more, nothing less. And I found it really abhorrent uh, to accept marginalization and isolation to stay outside yes, while those who I would consider to be most corrupting to go inside and pretend to be the wise men. When I spend some time reading about this movement, I realized that it is that particular point which sets aside this movement from the others. It's not an organization. It's a group of people that have come together with one goal, that we have the right to stand and sit next to the table when the agendas are being discussed, yeah, 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 yeah. and we have the right to make those agendas for the future. Enough is enough. We don't intend to be complicit in this vague notion of separation of church and state, where the extremists never adhere to it, and us we have to constantly remind ourselves of the responsibility that we have towards this separation of church and state. It's this that makes this organization unique. And I then turn to my scripture. I was reminded of a verse that came to my mind. Chapter 41, verse 30. <laughs> Those who profess the faith, but that's not enough. Then the struggle, they struggle to implement those values in the daily life. It's only then that they should wait for the grace of God and the angels to descend on them, to encourage them to move, to, to move forward. And I believe... I could be wrong, but I hope I am not. This is the platform that I would like to work with everybody else so that ultimately the grace of God and the angels would descend on all of us. 
Let's stand together and work together. Thank you very much.